That was a heck of a football game. It was a great team win. Um, I thought our program came out and uh, really competed hard together. Um, it was really important for our team to come out and beat Pitt and get bowl eligible and uh, get the seniors this next win to get another month together. And uh, what you saw was a team that was aligned together, loves each other, and fought for each other. And that's what we talked about in the locker room, that faithfulness and loyalty will always be rewarded. And they showed great resolve, faith, and loyalty. There was a lot of great performances out there. We played a really good football team, played a top 10 defense, and uh, we still ran for over 200 yards and had to make some key plays throughout the game. I thought all three phases played well here today. We went out and kicked the ball really well in, in, the, in the kicking game. Um, obviously, Boomer went out and had a bunch of field goals and looked strong kicking them. Um, our defense rallied, created turnovers and sacks. and That defense has been coming and coming and coming now at the end here. But then again, it's a bunch of young dudes, and that's what young dudes do. They grow and they develop. and. You know, we replaced eight, and those guys came out, and they've been, you know, they, they've been working. And, and, and that their effort showed their improvement level, which was really cool to watch today. Our offense, as I said, played against one of the better defenses in the country. And nothing was more, more, more pronounced than at the end of the game when A.J., who ran like an absolute beast, we had to close the game out and get first downs. And, he, and our line was rocking off the ball, and he was slamming into defenders. They were all at the line of scrimmage, and they was getting four and five and six yards at a carry. That happens when you have complete unselfishness, and you have a complete loyalty to your team, and your team is more important than yourself. I couldn't be more proud of our football program. I couldn't be more proud of our team. The way they played, the way they competed, more importantly, the way they loved each other. We're going to our sixth bowl in seven years. We're all very proud of that. The senior class has been to four straight bowls. We're very proud of that. When you learn how to overcome adversity, that's one of the great life lessons. And we're an educational institution, and that's what we're here for, to be teachers. We overcame losing our quarterback. We overcame losing, uh, e even this week, we lost our linebacker two days ago, we, Lamont, John Lamont. We, you know, we finally got Isaiah back. But through it all, there was no excuses made, and everybody pulled together and work for each other. So what you saw was a team, a defense that had to rebuild part of the process, an offense that took a lot of hits and kept, kept pushing forward. You know what I'm excited about? I got a really good football team. I got most everybody coming back. This is going to be one hell of a football team moving forward. And we got another month to tweak it and turn it and coach it and develop it. That is so exciting. And I think this can be something special. And as I told the team in there, I know I'm grateful to be around guys like I'm around, both coaches and players alike. And uh, I've had great support. Martin Jarman has been there for me the whole way this year. And Jack Butler is, I can't even use the words to describe what he's meant to our football program. It's the very, very best of Boston College. So um, this is a great night, a great night to celebrate and uh, to enjoy it and then get to work. And we got a chance to go get number seven. And that's a real good thing when you got a chance to go get number seven. And that's what we're going to be all about. Any questions? Uh, we're going to see the clip when you walk into the locker room. Jump in the mosh clip. But describe the field. Uh, come out the field, walk in. So why I got in this business? I got in here to be a part of kids' lives. I got a chance to look at Nolan Borgeson's face when everything didn't go his way in his career, but he made one of the biggest plays in that game to help this football team. I looked around that room and saw all the personal stories, and I said, you know, you know, I said a little thanks to God for giving me the opportunity to be honest with you, to be in the business that I'm in, and it was special. And you saw it. I didn't know how you saw it, but if you saw it, but that's a special, that's a special moment. Money can't buy that moment. Nobody, know, nobody understands that moment. You've got to be in that moment. It's one of the great feelings that there is, honestly. 
I told them that this was one of the greatest moments in my college coaching career, and I think I've been in a fair amount of them. And this was one of the great ones. You know why? My Father Jack talked about it in our homily at Mass. This team loved each other, and they fought for each other. That's what happened. So, so your point about uh, what this game means to mean, mean, you, I mean, you, your demeanor feels a little bit different after this one. And, and I know you tend to try to avoid the roller coaster and tune out noise, but I'm sure you hear the truth of me, whether it's fans, external, or whatever. Uh, is this one satisfying for you in that sense? Like, what, is this, what does this mean to you in particular? What's satisfying is going in the locker room and seeing my guys Coach Sheridan broke him down. He has a little deal he does with him. He goes, our guys. And they go, our guys, our guys, our guys. That's all I care about. I care about being with our guys. That's the most important thing there is to me. That's why I got in this. It's not about me. It's about them. I'm a teacher. That's what I am. We learned some great life lessons. And we learned how to overcome unbelievable adversity. When they walk out of this program and they walk out of this university, they're going to be a little better equipped to understand what loyalty and faithfulness means and to understand what it means to love your teammate, love your family, love your wife. And I believe in that. That's really what I believe. You probably didn't want to get all that I just gave you, but that's what I believe. And that's really important. So all that other stuff it doesn't really, really mean a whole lot to me. It really doesn't. Maybe I just, I've been in this long enough, you know? Big boy, I got it. So Steve, you didn't feel anything was more at stake for you personally today than was last Saturday or the Saturday before that or Saturday before that? <laughs> All I cared about was getting this team to six wins and getting another month with them and then watching what I watched. That was the greatest gift that I got. So if you want to talk about me, that was a great gift. And I'm grateful. I don't know what to tell you. All that other stuff, like, I'm not avoiding questions. I, this is how I feel. I don't know what to tell you, you know. It's not about me. I'm fine. That was a great moment. I'm going to enjoy that moment. And I'm going to enjoy coaching this team, and I'm going to enjoy developing this football team. Because I'm telling you, and people who know me know, I'm a pretty straight shooting guy. That team has a chance to be a special team. And that's really cool. And they know it. Anybody else? You know, the growth and the patience to come with the defense. Yeah. Uh, the effort they put together. Yeah, it was something, wasn't it? Like, back to the wall. Was, yeah. did, you, did they have a sense that they had to put something on their shoulders? Yeah. You know, Julian, they just – a bunch of eight – we replaced eight starters. I mean, it, 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 you know – I don't, I don't, I don't know, I don't know what to say. I mean, and this is all part of it. But they're talented, you know. And you're just kind of watching that. And that's with, like I said, like we found out yesterday, day before yesterday. I can't remember that we weren't going to have John Lamont. You know, that's another curveball. And and it's just kind of a resiliency, you know. And that's exciting because those are foundational things. And then the on the field play was better, right? It's improving. It's we got a pass rush. We're tighter in our coverage. We're making plays on the ball in the air. How about our tackling? So much improved. Is it a finished product? No. But you can just see it like, like this. And, and, and they're talented. So it, it's going to continue to get better and better and better. All these guys playing out there, like you know, Sheeta and all these guys, all these young guys. And some of the other young guys are chomping at the bit to get in as well, and they haven't gotten in yet. we got a bunch of young talent over there. So we're going to grow it. That's what this is. I mean, you know, you, we, we, have to, we, we have to grow and develop our talent, you know, and, and, and that's what we're in the process of there. And, and we've been in that process on offense. We have one of the better offenses in the country in a lot of statistical categories, okay? And that's coming back. So it's exciting and uh, it's fun. It's energizing. And it's, and it's rewarding. But m more importantly than anything is, just really grateful to have a group of guys that I get a chance to be around every day. I'll take one more. How much of an impact immediately does McDuff make on the Good question. That's a good question. I mean, 
You saw it. When you have marquee players, they matter. It's like, no, it doesn't not matter. It matters. He's a marquee player. His impact was felt immediately. We didn't have him all year. We got him now, but we didn't have him. He was recovering from an injury. That's the way it is. It's like losing your quarterback. It's the same kind of stuff, you know? It doesn't matter. Of course it matters. It all matters. And with that, you have to have some good fortune, you know? That's just having good fortune, keeping guys healthy, especially with the schedule we play and all the stuff that we're, you know? We're playing really good football teams, you know? And when you play really good football teams, it takes a toll on you. Do you know what I mean? And in, 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 in the physical nature of, you know, we're, we're down the end run of the, of the season, you know? And, you know, we're traveling to Clemson. We're traveling to Notre Dame. We're traveling to Pittsburgh. We're talking about all top 20 defenses, top 10, top 5, top 20, right? Those, that's, that's not uh, – and, and, of course, you know, we played 11 power five – we're one of three teams in the country. We played 11 power five teams this year. Only three teams in the country did it. We were one of them. Okay? So, you know – and with all that, at the end of the season, we played one of our better, most complete games in three phases on the road on Thanksgiving weekend in Pittsburgh. It's a good statement on where we're heading, what our future is. Appreciate you guys, man. Thanks.